Let's also do some dark background. It's just easier to see many things on the dark one. And even though I have black tips, this time I will apply black because it will need we will need to have some gel underneath. Otherwise, it won't work on a, because bare tips is just plastic. So I will apply black background and this time we will work with the glitters. So the magnet ombre was the easiest one in the world and this one is also so easy but here we will need to work a little. Okay and cure. So I will take a secret glitter the gold one and you can use any glitter and also remember in the list of the required products I asked you to take some number one natural brush and this is really some of my old brushes this is not even a professional one this is the one I got from some craft shop so for this design you can use honestly almost any brush at all it, like the brush this technique doesn't really mean a lot oh okay so um, my black is cured and seems like yeah I will need another coat because it looks a little grayish and yes I will apply another one and this is also pretty fast and simple and you can also use this kind of ombre for the one I just explained which is on my nails like when you don't have time to do a refill on yourself just simply add glitter and stretch it. Um, so glitters uh, it really depends on the quality of the gel and the particles of the glitter but usually they go to the bottom so we need to mix it a little bit and as I will need now just a small amount of glitter I will mix it only on the one corner, not the whole jar. And wait until my background is completely cured. For this design we won't need to remove the sticky layer. Our background is cured and uh, I will... Okay, where's my corner that I mixed? And then I will apply gold near the cuticle so if you want to do an ombre like half on half of the tip you need to apply about this amount so do not apply it right way down here because you will end up with a tip that's all covered with gold right and we need some kind of ombre okay now we need to clean the brush just with a regular napkin no cleanse no nothing the dry, uh, brush should be dry and clean of excess glitter now I will take the brush hold it flat do not hold it like this okay really flat like it's laying down and then I will go back and forth back and forth like a printer and stretch the glitter Okay, so first I will begin with the area where we still have some glitter. And I think I said that, but I will repeat just in case. Do not remove the sticky layer because it's way easier to stretch it when you still have it. And then our glitter will slowly fade into the black. And honestly, I <laughs> I'm almost doing it blindfolded, so I hope it's, it is blending there. Uh-huh. Okay, so, yeah, and we will leave a small area where there's no glitter, where there's only black. So now, as this was the gel, we will cure it and apply the top coat. If you don't have a glitter gel, you can take any glitter and mix it with a clear gel and you will get it. But for ombre it's always better to choose glitters with the small particles rather than large. Well, you can take any, really depends on the, your goals, but it just looks cool. Also, there are glitters which have multiple ones, like the one I'm having on my nails. So there are big parts 
and small parts all together it also looks kind of nice we have our glitter ready here and now i will seal it with a top coat and this kind of ombre they usually look way better when they are sealed so this is the moment when you apply the top coat and clients like oh that's so great yeah because it really starts to shine so this is our sealed tip let me apply another background real quick because i want to just show you another option so did you mention that this was pretty fast well but there is a way to do it even faster like almost 10 times so i will apply quickly a black gel polish and show you a way to do it better but you will need a special brush for it mm -hmm. cure so to do it faster i will use this brush it's called ombre brush so if you if you look closer you will see that it's basically a square brush so to this row is just regular brush and here the hair it's like halfway so even if you don't have one you can make it all you need to do is just to take a square brush with a long hair preferably then separate the hair with a small scissors separate the half and then you know just do back and forth back and forth i believe i saw like hairdressers were doing that when they were doing the highlights <laughs> if you know what i'm saying and then cut it all the way or there's a way to do it simpler but it's not as accurate just hold the scissors from the top and you know just simply cut them out but not all the way only the halfway so if you notice what i was doing with the small brush so this is the nail and I was um, just going like this. So this was my route. This and well, yeah. So uh, to the right side, a little bit down, to the left, a little bit down, to the right, etc. And we had to, I had to do many multiple moves back and forth, back and forth with the brush because it's small and it has like just few hair in it. And with this brush, you can do all the same, just with way less moves. And let me demonstrate. I will quickly apply the second coat here. Yeah, I need to, really need to break that habit of looking up. But yeah, just lately I was uh, getting many comments like, why she's always looking up? Yeah, just want to make sure that you guys see everything. Okay, curing the second layer and then we will do the same but three to five times faster. We'll use the ombre brush and the same glitter and you'll see. So in case if you don't have ombre, I told you, you can use any brush. And um, also using the same technique you can not only stretch glitter you can also stretch in other colors but depending on what color is on the top and on the bottom for example if you want to stretch the colors that are close like pastels you can do it exactly the same way but if you want to take some dark and light colors which are hard to blend then i recommend to cure it first take off the sticky layer and then to stretch it okay so now it is cured and i will take a little bit of golden gel here on the top clean the brush the brush should be clean and dry before working put it flat and you see those here they will do basically the same but with a less effort and way faster honestly when i'm working with this brush it's like i don't know several seconds for okay you see the same result and way faster cure in the lamp it's 
it will need we will need to have some gel underneath otherwise it won't work on a, because bare tips is just plastic so i will apply black background and this time we will work with the glitters take a secret glitter the gold one and you can use any glitter and also remember in the list of the required products i asked you to take some number one natural brush and this is let's also do some dark background it's just easier to see many things on the dark one and even though i have black tips this time i will apply black because so the magnet ombre was the easiest one in the world and this one is also so easy but here we will need to work a little okay and cure so i will take really some of my old brushes this is not even a professional one this is the one i got from some craft shop so for this design you can use honestly almost any brush at all it, like the brush this technique doesn't really 